Extreme Element Spot Running Robot. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Mr. Hampton needs me right now. Come on, you bastard! You, you can do better, better than that! Nah! Hello, guys. It's my turn! Rotten or crispy, each heart contains the secret of life. Drink at this river. Dry it all. Come on, you bastard! I won't bite! Sir, please! You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! I'll let the blade. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street, and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. <laughs> Dance with him the dance of life and death. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Did I black out? It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. Dr. Swansea asked me to collect you, Dr. Reed. Hurry up! Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared.
I would like to ask a few questions first. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and a most compassionate physician. Stream element spot running robot. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett's, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now, eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, Speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's not exactly the best situation in London either. I can't have expected this hospital to be prepared for what was to come. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. What did you do there? Did you not go to that pure thing today? What did you do there? I, I did I do sports there. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve. But I must admit, he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah, yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Branigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner.
Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything, and it's getting worse every day. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... Too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing here. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital? That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, Doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. Hello. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. And I thought last summer's epidemic was difficult. Another night with the glorious battalion of Pembroke. Good evening, Dr. Tibbetts. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Goodbye, Dr. Tibbetts. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Their blood and soul. They belong to you now. The life running in your veins. This dead flesh needs it. Oh, please. Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, sir, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps.
But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place, and he refused to let me go. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Hawcroft. Stream element spot running robot. You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul, searching for light. What is the general situation in the East End docks? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers' trade union. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show, with the assistance of her minion, Booth Digby. Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. I've had this nickname for so long, you know? The sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint. Not even criminals. Do you know Tom Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks, and I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really. But I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke. Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. See you again. It's locked, all right. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. 
War injuries, am I right? You Hi, guys. guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars, if you get my drift. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. Hey. Hey, guys. Welcome to life. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Damn, the pain, it's here again. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Hi, Sam. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. Hi. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? You must get a hold of yourself, nurse. <sighs> Sorry, I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough. Would you play out last on stream? And no matter yeah, how would. qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. You're right. When dealing with such a terrible disease, one must remain humble. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try our best. <sighs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter. But I'm just too tired. Would you play it now? Uh, no, not now. I'm finishing this game. I need to do this full game first before I do another game. Rannigan. How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual, especially concerning doctors. Why does okay, Milton no problem. I don't You're know. Welcome. Just ask him. But be warned, Milton is not the chatty type. 
What's your favorite food? Um, pizza. Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. I'm a girl, are you single? I'm not interested. Could you not a girl? Be a liar. I'm looking for a strong man to take care of me. You're a liar. I can prove it. Prove it then. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Fuck them. Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys... Why don't you believe me? I'm so sorry, long. I don't A lot of this are lying to Yeah, me. exactly. We lack words. So I'm just me. looking for a boyfriend. I'm not interested. Goodbye, Milton. I wouldn't lie to you, I think you're cute. I need proof. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. What's your favorite game? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howard? It's only a cover. To hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me. For I am a vampire. I see. 
Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Hello. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. What can I do for you, Doctor? Thank you, Nurse Crane. Good evening, Doctor. I believe we're going to be working together. Dr. Reed. Dr. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And oh. you are? I am Thoreau Strickland. Dr. Thoreau oh. Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Please, could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion, Dr. Reed. I run my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. I based my technique on my mentor's research. He helped me perfect my method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and methodical, you may remain empty-handed, but you won't fail. You're not the first one to warn me. But I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. It's always a pleasure to share scientific and medical knowledge with someone eager to learn. I'll be glad to help you if I can. This epidemic may be the century's most terrible disaster, but I'm convinced that we, as doctors, are the only ones able to defeat it. What can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea. You seem quite optimistic. It's a rare and precious attitude in these difficult times. I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test. A test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Questions remain about our capacity hey, to resolve the situation. True, true. Last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. We're not smiling now. Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research, yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to... Oh, no, Dr. Reed. I see. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland.
You're my cousin. We are not related. I cannot enter. Are you Tom's son? Who what are you on about? I'm your cousin, I swear to God. You are not my cousin. It's locked, all right. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. I cannot enter. Good evening, Dr. Strip. And good evening. Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. I haven't seen you since you were a baby. You're a liar. That could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him? Or to prove your point? Fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. Do you think keeping... All I know... Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was combat. Why would he hide such crucial info? Because he is a. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland.
my sweet girl. Reads me like a... Good evening, sir. I don't know... I see. I'm Harvey. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed. So I can return to... I was more... I'm a cop. Are you satisfied with your treatment here? Well, I won't... Are you sure... Another sir... Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Act. What do you mean? I often act. Tell me about your injury, Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me. And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. What an arsehole. Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? I should investigate. All I wanted was to go back to work. To take care of my children. They just saw your stream pop up. How Hi, are you? Hi Desmond, how are you doing? I'm good, Bauer. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been in... Does my arrival... Let us just say... If you have a problem with me, Dr. Ackroyd, please feel free to tell me. Dr. Swansea has imposed... I know. <laughs> There is no I'm good, Sam. What are you playing? I'm playing, Don't you think the I'm playing vampire. Epidemic is already... That is one... Sergio. Since you're ten... Let's just... Careless. We're here. I don't intend to run any... Modern... Tell me, Waverly. What do you think of Dr. Strickland's enthusiasm for his experimental research? Strickland is playing with his patients' lives for pride and glory. Now that, sir is unethical. Are you thinking about something in particular? Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I think I I've played that game, it's pretty cool. I need, I, I need, well not add me on PlayStation. And are you not afraid that your rivalry with Strickland may be blinding you? Rivalry? Why do I struck? I really hope you're- I'm not the- I don't know what you- I don't- And what- I said- Be careful- I only- Knowledge- It is not a- It seems- I ref- We cannot- Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Are you by the way? I'm 20. I'm 24. It's locked. Not now. Please come back later. Oh, cool. I'm 21 in a couple days.
I cannot enter. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time left for me. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Yes, Nurse Crane? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of... Sorry. There's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined... The storeroom! Perhaps I should... It's the, the abandoned morgue behind the hospital. Hello. And yeah, I'm Samuel. It's locked. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody... It's locked, all right. Bishop must be the same strain. 
This sickness moves faster than influenza. I cannot enter. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. It's locked, all right. Basement in downtown. These scowls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. Mr. Connor's injured. Would you like to add my PlayStation? Yeah. Better look into this. Add me, well, add me. Uh, uh, put in your thing then. Okay, what's your game attack? You have to bring, send me a voice note as well. Oh, one second. Casual Motor 631 There you go did you Yeah. <laughs> 
These skulls can be so ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. To drink blood is so tempting. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor, too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Chadana, pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean, you used to be a doctor? Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main morgue was still open. Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Do you need medical attention? I'm feeling all right, doctor. But perhaps it is because I, too, am used to the smell of the dead. Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. An interest, sir. 
How did you get this job after I left? Have we met? Before? I don't think when we first funny. Do you work here? Yes. Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I do you think I don't Do you need medical attention? Goodbye. Good evening, Doctor. Have you seen no more? This is no laughing. Do you need my medical attention, dear colleague? I would have been confused if anyone other than you had asked that question, Dr. Reed. But your help is welcomed. I will see you later. What do you think of Dr. Ackroyd's aversion to... It's a shame he's so narrow with the inf... I believe... So you be... Doctor... Why are you blaming... It is our... This art if we... Goodbye, Dr. Strip. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Uh, Dr. Swansea... Did he really? All men... I see. You must... Do you require medical assistance, nurse? Thank you for your concern, but I'm fine. How are things? Not good. An invisible enemy? Sorry. Do you think this... We are all... I'm not familiar... Brilliant... Most... It would... Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please... No. Is there... Well, why should he... I guess it... Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the... If it wasn't... Dr. Tippett... If you're... Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Shift never end. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts. I suppose. Yes. Could you at least. Mort. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't need. I will see. I have to go now. Good evening, sir. What no medicine now? Good evening, Mr. Goswick. I'm okay. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I'll let you get some. Good evening, sir. Good evening. I'm okay. Do you need any help? I'm afraid. 
I will see. I have to. It's locked. The flower's dying. It needs water. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, Nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. Please, Jonathan, come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> You, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, 
A brand new life? How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm. I cannot ex... I'm a dead man. I was murdered. Now I'm a murderer. Tell me how this is a gift. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. Uh. There is no need to apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Very well. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our... A spokesman or politician. Discretion is in... And you would... By this... Accepted. I cannot enter. Why have you done this? It's locked, all right. So lucky to have Dr. Reed, you know. I met him in New York. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. And we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind, the blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent... You're a vamp... The lady who... Indeed. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very... The pleasure is mine. I hope... You must have countless... Pardon my boldness, your ladyship, but I have questions concerning this condition we share. As a newborn, your hunger for... I'm a scientist. I will glad... Have any of the... These... The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like... You make me blush. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks. What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent... Who would be so foolish? Even if it were the... If we're dealing... As a more... Please continue. Every detail is essential. My embarrassment in this matter is a clip. I'll take care of it. If that was... I'll meet that woman. My life... Is our little miss... I think of... My situ... These nurses, 
bred with no respect. What? What? What is There's no need for a laugh. Preposterous. Right, yeah. Dr. Swansea is quite busy, and I need you to help me get acclimated. I have many questions. <laughs> How brave. Threatening an old defense. Harriet Jones. Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts in the poor sod's vein. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you in... God's honest truth, Doctor. You seem to know more about... That's it. I assure you, madam, this is not... Debauchery, then? Nurses... Really? This is your... Thank you for your... Miss... I'll come and... The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item. Those two have hidden their affections well. Good evening, sir. Doctor. Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Beatrice Go Do you require medical attention as well, Mrs. Goswick? I have other cons... What can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Goswick? Are you really that rich? Yes. May I ask if... I'm a teacher by...
What do you think of your reception? I have had... Is there something in particular? Some of the... Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? Yeah. What do you mean? She charged you? Yes. I share... I don't... Have you heard rumors of blackmail going on in this hospital? Dr. Reed. Of course. Well, go be... Goodbye, Miss. Good evening. I'm okay. Do you need any help? You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Not really. I yes, maybe. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a... My mother just wants... Pembroke Hospital... Stop. Is your mother bothering you? As your doctor... I... That's tempting, doctor. How pain... So painful. Tell me about it. I don't want... Have you heard rumors about blackmail in this hospital? No. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate. Good evening, sir. Doctor. Good evening, doctor. How is my... Do you require medical attention? I have... Goodbye. Goodbye, Miss. Damn. The pain. Good evening, Mr. Evening. So this is how it ends. Farewell, my life, you betrayed me, God. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about the strange man? visiting one of the nurses during her shift. Let me... She could have been telling the truth about... That old... No matter how you feel... Who says I don't care? What can you tell me? Let me... Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins.
the circumstances, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. Good evening, Doctor. Goodbye, Mrs. Gosling. Good evening. You're the last. I see that. Are you real? Do you need my assistance? Don't be rude. I. Have you heard about blackmail? Thank you. Brilliant minds in London at Pembroke. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, Doctor. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard... Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Good evening, Mr. Cox. Dr. Reed! And why? People who don't... Do you ever think about that poor fellow I saw you put... The wound he gave. What did he want? Oh! You're a monster, Mr. Cox. I'm the tough... That man was... What a... Time has lost its effect on me, but the suffering continues. I killed, extorted, stole, and now I die. Fuck it. I lived the way I wanted. Wait. Good evening, Miss Halcroft. I need blood. Have you heard of it? Tell me, Thelma. Why do you feel so attached to Mr. I'm... I'm not sure, Doc. Would you say you and Mr... No. Do you plan to make him... Of course not. I'll leave.
safe. Please, sir. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. I'm Dr. Oswald. How long? I, I Don't be a sh What can you tell me? I'm Oswald's best friend. This is a dangerous part of town. We were looking... Where was your friend? He went down... What can you His name is... Do you need medical... No, thanks. I Thank you, Dr. I cannot enter.
thoughts in your heart. The light skies does a hospital. This dead flesh needs it. Have you found Oswald? Not yet. All right. I have all the information. Thank you. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I have to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. He's locked the door behind him. I need to find another way to follow him. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. What sort of creature is this?
Here's what's left of him. Not a lot to check, but I should anyway. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must come. Okay. Mr. Thad. Yes. yes. Good. Are you sure? Yes.
every night. Boys, we've got one of them. Got to be him, right? 